Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from Fauna Floor Brewing Company out of Mount Nebo, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Pine Zips. Uh, excited for this because it's another new beer that they did. Um, not just a new can, but uh, I don't think they've ever made this before. Um, but it just says, the description on the can says, a coniferous uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, so, it is made with flaked rye, well, pil two row pills of malt, flaked rye, then hopped intensely with warrior, amarillo, and chinook, and steeped on heaps of eastern white pine needles. So, I expect this to be very piney and very dank. Uh, so, I'm, I'm pretty intrigued, uh. Because I, I like those kinds of IPAs, and this is uh, 7.5 ABV, so see what we got. It's definitely not going to be a, uh, a hazy juice bomb for sure, so we'll see. So, it's not a juice bomb, but it is, uh, I'm assuming it's not a juice bomb, but it is pretty cloudy, which is interesting. I don't know if that's from the pine needles or what, but it is interesting because, uh, pretty much all the hoppy stuff they've done has been, I mean, maybe not crystal clear, but, uh, definitely <coughs> cleaner than this is, so, but, uh, we'll see, uh, it doesn't mean anything on the taste uh so it's a darker orange color almost an amber with uh about a finger's worth of fluffy white head <clears throat> hmm interesting so I've never ever had this issue with them uh, but I'm smelling a lot of diacetyl in this. Uh, there is definitely some, uh, pine character too, but it smells very buttery to me. Uh, but sometimes things come off as buttery in the aroma and they don't taste like it, so we'll see. It, usually you can judge more by the mouthfeel, or as much by the mouthfeel as the taste if it's, uh, like slick, we'll see. Hmm. I don't know. There. I wonder if there's something wrong with my nose. Um, because generally, I I would taste diacetyl before I would smell it. Um, The, the funny thing is, though, like, even if it was, even if it had diacetyl in it, that wouldn't affect, like, the hop flavors. You know, it might, like, cover it up a little bit, but it wouldn't affect, like, the flavor of the hops that are there. And it's really not coming off as that uh, very piney or dank at all. It's almost... Um, it's like orangey, and it's pretty sweet, which is also weird for their beers, because almost everything they do, from my standpoint, is usually pretty dry. Uh, yeah, I really don't think... I think my nose is playing tricks on me. I really don't think I'm. There is diacetyl in this now. I don't know, but it still smells like it. But I'm not tasting it. I'm just getting. 
One thing, it doesn't have the slick body, so that's one reason why I don't think it. I don't really taste it either. But there is a, a sweetness that I generally don't get from any other hoppy beers. And this even specifically says, like, a finish is dry, so that's kind of odd. Uh, the bitterness is on point what I would expect with what the hops are in this. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's completely, completely different than, excuse me, than what I was expecting. And I don't really know what to think of it. You know, sometimes when you add things that people think are going to taste one way, but they're not a normal additive in beer, they come off as different than what you expect them to taste like. Maybe that has something to do with the pine needles in this. I'm not sure, but I've had other pine beers, beer with spruce tips in it and it definitely tasted like pine piney this doesn't really have that I don't know I like I wouldn't expect diacetyl to produce like a, a sweet character so I don't know where that's coming from but this literally tastes nothing like I was expecting um and it's kind of just like sweet and a little like candied orange and that's really it I don't know. Maybe my palate is, is messed up today. I have no idea. I'm going to have to try this on tap when I go out there next week. Uh, but overall, though, like, it is actually really clean and easy to drink. So I, I don't mind it. I'm not saying it's bad, but it is not what I was expecting. Um, it's not super piney and dank. It's kind of just like you run in the mill east coast but not like northeast IPA uh, you know with some citrusy earthy hops so it's not bad but it's not nearly as good as some of their other hoppy offerings um, so I will say I'm a little disappointed by it but I'm not gonna I'm definitely not gonna say this is a dump I'll still drink it it's it's actually pretty decent but if I want not even, like, I'm not even talking about hazy IPAs. If I just want, like, a clean IPA, I could get other things from them if they were available, like Hot Beard and Hula Hayhe and th those beers I would rather drink than this. So uh, I can't say this one's a buy. I don't think I would buy this again, but it's definitely a drink. I'll drink it. It's fine. Uh, but one of the, at least in my opinion, this is one of the few misses from them. Uh... And some of the some of the things that I don't like, I know it's just because I don't like those things when they throw like all the weird herbs in the saisons. Sometimes it's just because I don't like those specific spices or herbs. This really, I'm not. I, admittedly, even though I love this brewery, I, I I can't say that that's what is going on with this. I mean, you're using piney hops and they're throwing pine needles in it, so I'm pretty much know what I'm in for there, and I'm just feel like I'm not getting it. So. It's one of the few misses from these guys, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, not everyone's perfect every time. I still love them, and I'm going to buy everything that they make, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm definitely going to revisit it on tap um, just to make myself feel better to see if I'm crazy or, or there's something wrong with this can or something like that. So I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.